Hi everyone, welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. Today is the day. Today is reveal day for Dueling DIY and I am so excited to show you guys around my guest room makeover. You all have seen bits and pieces, you've been patiently waiting, but today Sarah and I are gonna show you where we stand. I am finished, I love this space, it does everything I wanted it to do. I'm declaring victory, this is amazing. I am fortunate enough that I've been working with Spoonflower on this one and they shared a picture a while ago that just stuck in my brain. And it was a picture of wallpaper with matching upholstery right in front of it. I thought that would be such an easy way to really spice up this side of the room, bring in a lot of drama. It's not something that you see all that often, so for a small guest room like this, I figured why not take the chance and I love it. I tried to pick a pattern that was filled with colors that I loved. I tried to pick a pattern that was a little bit smaller in scale so that it wouldn't feel completely crazy in this small space. And I also tried to pick a pattern that I would like just on its own. I'm obsessed with this pattern. I have to tell you a little backstory. So when I originally found this, it immediately was one that I loved, but it wasn't available in wallpaper. It was available in fabric, but I really wanted that wallpaper fabric layering, and they were able to reach out to the artist and get approval to print this as wallpaper, and I am so happy to be working with a group like that because I adore it. It's my favorite colors, just pulling things from the wallpaper to fill the rest of the space. It's just happy, happy, happy. Did I mention, do you remember that I built this daybed? I was super nervous to get this daybed back from my upholsterer because I knew that I had managed to build something that was structurally strong, but I just wasn't sure whether that would look aesthetically nice once it was wrapped up in batting and fabric. I'm using a new fabric that Spoonflower has that's sort of a basket weave canvas, so it's much thicker, perfect for something like this. I know one of the things that I had mentioned at the beginning was what I was gonna do for window treatments, and you guys, I didn't do anything. These were the ones that were here before. They are just plain, simple, white, basic Ikea cotton curtains that I sewed this ball fringe on. And honestly, the green is perfect. I think we need a little bit of neutral to balance this crazy daybed wallpaper situation. And there's already some of those junky vinyl shades there so that if someone is sleeping here, they will get a little bit of light blocked out. This is the floating shelf that I made. It's really sturdy. I have this nice and styled. I just wanted somewhere to have kind of pretty things in here, but it also frees up this area for that table so that if someone is staying in bed, they have somewhere to put a glass of water or their book. And I kept these unstained. I just painted some polycrylic on top to seal them, but I love that raw wood look. It's a nice balance to the big, bold, colorful pattern that is in this room already. I swapped out the upholstered chair that was in the corner for this beauty that has been in my barn for a little while. This was, I think, $8 at the ReStore. It had a nasty cushion, and so what I did is I used some of that leftover fabric from the day bed, and I just sewed a very simple square cushion that I can take on and off if I need to, and let's be honest, no one's gonna sit in this chair. They're just gonna throw their clothes or their towel on it. So it's just a nice way to bring the pattern across the room. And I like that the chair isn't super bulky visually either. And then I needed a light in here. And what I love about this light is that this attached to an outlet that is connected to the wall switch. So this is a nice way, if you're just coming in here late at night, I love being able to flip a switch and get some light. So this is probably the side of the room that you haven't Seen. This table was downstairs in our playroom. We didn't really need it down there, but I love the table. So we brought that up here, and I think that over time, this will become a nice surface to put folded laundry. We can store extra socks, and it gives me somewhere to tuck those laundry baskets. Those are on wheels. I got them from the Home Depot. I have this basket here that I painted to match the color scheme in the rest of the room. I knew that I needed something that would fill up the space and bring in some color because I wanted to balance the wallpaper that's across the room. I liked the idea of filling the space, but obviously finding one singular piece of artwork that would fill this long skinny wall was really, really hard. So I was able to get three 
count them, three for the price of one to get these plain white canvases. I have a tutorial video on YouTube to how I made these if you wanna see the process. And then I'll come in a little bit closer so you can see, whenever I'm making my own canvas, I like to frame it with just a simple piece of one by two and I miter the edges and I nail it right into the canvas and it's a really effective, inexpensive way to make simple art look a little bit more high-end and finished. And I just love how these three paintings fill the wall without being too fussy. They bring in the right colors. They help balance that crazy wallpaper wall. And I love them. I brought in that new World Market light fixture just to hang there because I already had the hook and there's a plug right below. And then that mirror is actually just a thrift store basket that I picked up and it sort of made me think of sort of like the Serena and Lily rattan mirrors that are around. And again, if someone's using this space as a guest room, that'll be nice to have a little mirror for them. This bookcase was in the room already and I just assumed that I'd get rid of it, but that yellow actually looks pretty cheerful and works. And... It's also a nice place to store extra laundry stuff. I have a basket up here with all those little loose odds and ends that you don't use that often, but it's just a nice place to store things because we don't have a laundry room. I brought in two sconces on either side of my llama. If someone is sitting here at night reading, they're gonna want some overhead light. Those are from Target and they're not hardwired. I just have the cord going down. A lot of people are asking about sort of the layout of the bed relative to that closet. So here's what I will say. If someone needed to get into that closet, which they don't, right now it's just extra blankets that I never use, you can open the doors enough to sort of reach in. And if you really need to open the doors, I have the day bed centered on the wall right now, but if I push it all the way over to the window right there, then those closet doors do open. And I sort of like the idea of having that wall nice and clean, the doors were there. If I take the doors off, then that's one more thing to think about. And I just thought a curtain would look a little less polished. A bunch of people suggested a barn door, which would be awesome. But you can see that there's sort of no room for the barn door to go. So for now, I just thought the closet doors looked the best. And honestly, I get into this closet maybe once a month, if that. So it's not inconvenient to me at all. I have to say that the point of this dueling DIY guest room gauntlet is to have fun with my friend Sarah and to sort of talk smack, but I just spent the whole weekend with her. We've been talking nonstop since we started this project, and now that I'm finished, it's a little bit hard for me to smack talk. But, and I'll just leave it right here, that she hasn't finished her space. She has all these things that she still has to put together. So I don't know how you feel about that, but my space is finished. So for what it's worth, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow the playlist that we've set up for this Dueling DIY series and have a great day. And it just looks amazing. Junk, I don't need this. Look guys, I left a can of paint there. So that is a really nice accessory for the space. Don't tell.